favorite healthy soup recipes. It's made in the Instant Pot and it's a zesty Mediterranean soup. So the recipe just simply says, and you can find the recipe on cookwiththeresa.com, and you'll see that you can just dump everything in the Instant Pot and go. But I like to saute the vegetables up a little bit first. So first we're gonna dice them up in the Eco Chop. So we're gonna add some garlic, some jalapeno, some onion. We're gonna add pepper too, but we don't wanna overdo it in the Eco Chop. So we're gonna do that first. Put the lid on. I like to dice the onions up pretty good and obviously the jalapenos too. So then what I'm gonna do, I've got the Instant Pot on saute mode. I'm just gonna put a little bit of our harissa oil, which I just love. And then I'm going to add what we did here, the garlic, the jalapeno, the onion, and the peppers. And we're just, this is just gonna increase that flavor, which is so good. And then I really like to use my blender spatula because it's long and deep and can get into the Instant Pot nice. So I wanna add a little bit more of that harissa oil. Okay, oh, I can just smell that. So good. Okay, then we're gonna finish chopping up the peppers and the onions and then we'll add that next. Next to go in the Eco Chop is gonna be our celery and our carrots, which I just love because I love the flavor that celery gives soup, but I do not like big chunks of celery. So I wanna show you how awesome this Eco Chop is with celery. So you can see the chunks I put in there. Put that lid on. Oops, <laughs> slippery. And our celery. Next up is the carrots, which you wanna get these small enough that they're going to not get stuck in the blade of the Eco Chop. But you definitely wanna get them diced up for the soup too. So let me show you what this does in here. There's one chunk, it's kind of big. We'll see what happens. Let's put that in there. This one I'm just gonna pull it off. Let's see what we have here. Look at that. I think I'll go a couple more pulls. I know my boys are gonna like that a little bit finer. There we go. Zucchini's next. This is such an easy one to do in the equal shop for sure. Let me show that to you anyways. In there. Check that out. Okay, next up is sweet potatoes. And did you guys know that you do not have to peel your sweet potatoes when you use them soups, you're roasting them, whatever, which is great. But when you're going to chop them in the Eco Chop, you definitely want to make sure they cut up into small enough chunks that they don't get stuck on the blade, okay? So let me show you how easily these sweet potatoes chop up. Let's put the lid on. Ooh, raw sweet potatoes, you guys. Check that out. Okay, time to get this finished, the soup finished up. So what we've got to add our zesty Mediterranean herb blend, of course, because these are zesty Mediterranean soup. So we're gonna do one tablespoon, a generous tablespoon, of the zesty Mediterranean herb blend. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of our celery salt. Great. And then we're going to add our vegetable broth. It smells so good in here, you guys, it's amazing. So, then, we're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste, which if you guys don't know, that's a real kicker for some soup. It takes the flavor up and it's really easy to do. I like to buy it in a tube and then you can add it to a lot of your different recipes. So there's a little tip for the day. So here's our tomato paste, two tablespoons, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little squirt. Squirt, there's my two tablespoons. And then we're gonna do juice of half of a lime. I love the citrus press. If this is something you guys don't own yet, you might want to consider it. It works really well when you're getting juice out for soups and so forth. And now, we've got all of our important ingredients in here. So now all we have to do is get the Instant Pot going on, and we're gonna do it on high pressure for three minutes and then let it release itself. Okay, the soup is done. It smells so good in here. So then what I like to do is I use my mini ladle to put a little bit in a pinch bowl and just taste it and make sure it's where I want um, for the right seasoning, and then we're good to go. Mmm, delicious. Okay, we're gonna add the last bit of lime juice to the soup, so we're just gonna squeeze that fresh lime in there. And then we also finish the soup off by adding some fresh spinach or kale, but I will tell you that I prefer to add mine when I'm serving the soup. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I would serve this soup now. So I'm going to get myself a serving of soup for this bowl. 
and then I'm going to add spinach on top of it. So yummy. So we've got our soup and I'm just gonna add the spinach in here as well and then the heat will help it to wilt. You could use kale, they're both wonderful but we happen to have spinach. Look at this fresh, healthy, delicious bowl of zesty Mediterranean soup. Okay, so we've enjoyed the soup and now I'm going to be able to save some of it for future use. So what I'm doing here is I'm freezing in my Texas muffin tray eight cups of soup. Each the individual muffin is one cup. So this is great. When I freeze in my flexi pan, I take my bond mat to put on top of it and then I'll put it in the freezer just like that. Then we also still have some soup that we're saving in our large be safe container to be eaten this week. So lots of great healthy soup ready to go for the meals ahead.